All right, so the appraisal result is definitely going to matter in the contract. Um, if it comes in at the contract price, it's fine. Everything stays the same. If the appraisal is above the contract price, nothing happens. You basically get free equity and don't have to tell the sellers. Now, let's take a look at this if the appraisal comes in low. Uh, example number one is if you have a high down payment, let's say 30% down in this example. Uh, let's say it comes in then at 480. Uh, the lender will then have to take the lower of the sales price and the appraisal value. So it's now judging it based off of 480. So it recalculates the loan to value ratio. Uh, 350 is the loan on 480 is 73 instead of 70. So the down payment's a little lower. It means that the rate might just tiny, a teeny tiny increase might happen, but it's probably not going to affect much. Now, 5% down. If you have a lower down payment, this could be an issue. Uh, if that thing comes in at 480 instead of 500 and the listing agent is not willing to bring that sales contract price down, um, you could be left trying to scramble, trying to get into a 3% down loan, which you would have to be a first time buyer for, but um, you know, maybe you go FHA and do 3.5%. Um, but if they weren't willing to bring that contract price down, you would still pay this dead space. Uh, your down payment then would increase. It would go from uh, 25,000 down to about 35,000 down. Uh, the rate likely to increase just by a tad. Mortgage insurance would increase by a tad, but uh, those are uh, the consequences if an appraisal comes in low.